All right, welcome back to another episode of the Live Your Dreams podcast. I am your host, Joe Gawalis, alongside my fantastic co-host. Chris Victor. Chris, I am so excited. Here we are, South yes. by Southwest 2024, day three. Oh. And we are with two phenomenal, inspiring individuals whose film, I Don't Understand You, just premiered oh, yeah. at the prestigious South by Southwest Film Festival. We have on this CEO and founder and president yes. of Pinky Promises, one of the greatest production companies I've had the pleasure of meeting. You two are fantastic. Kara and Jesse, thank you so much for coming Thanks on. For coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having That's us. So We're nice. so happy to be yeah, here. Wow. You guys are great. Kara, unfortunately, we didn't get the opportunity to meet you on Zoom, but we met Jesse. Her energy was fantastic, Thank and you, you go right along with it you. so well. You two are great. Your energy is fantastic. I am <laughs> sure everybody loved the premiere of your film at South by Southwest. Tell me a little bit about that experience. You guys are fantastic. Oh my God, it was wild, honestly. It was insane to see the crowd. Well, you never know going into a comedy if people are gonna laugh. <laughs> you, you hope they do and you don't really know. Sure. And honestly, it was, it, Nick Kroll even secretly filmed the audience at like one of the peak moments of the movie just so he could hear it. Okay. And then we were all backstage right before we went on and he was showing us the video and we were dying. It was so That's fun. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It was I mean, great. You, you watch a movie, you know, dozens of times on a laptop or on a TV screen and nothing quite compares to the energy of, of being in the room. Yeah. It's just completely electric. So we're, we're so grateful to the turnout from the audience this year it's been it's been amazing and they and they really make it make and the it reviews are good which is yeah, also the reviews are good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. how does that feel when you get to a festival of this prestige and then the reviews are great on top of it i mean you must be on cloud nine right now yeah i mean there's a little bit of me that's like i knew it <laughs> <laughs> i told you i was yes. right it's yes. a hit I they all it. thought we were crazy <laughs> yes exactly yeah there's a little bit of like you want to feel that excitement yeah. and joy for your team and the work that we've all done for so yeah, many yeah. years so yeah i mean it's 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 the dream come true right i mean ultimately you when you've been with the project like we have with this for so long like you know really since the beginning you we are obviously in love with it and obsessed with it and so you just have to kind of hope and fo and that everyone's going to feel the same way yeah you want them to um, be but, at, but at the same time you know even if it were we, you go into it being like you know what we love this we yeah. know we're proud of it yes. um and you just kind of grounded in that so yeah. the, the the reception is really just like this Cherry on Cherry top. On top. Yeah. Uh, that's like, well, okay, so we're all crazy together. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's so well put. And talking about crazy together, when you form a production company like this, how do you go about choosing a production that's so great like this one? Because you're going to get so many scripts that come your way. And like you said, we have to be crazy to undertake this because it's so difficult to make a yeah. movie. People may not realize that, the challenges. Yeah. And you guys have to pick one. What is the process you two go through with picking something like this? I mean, we really – I take a, a very you know, disciplined selection process in, in terms of choosing what projects we're going to make. And so we talked about this before, but we have this thing called the, that we internally talk about called the four P's yes. that we think we talked about before. And so that's, you know, uh, progress, a mission driven company, you know, profit. We got a, we're a business. We want to do this for as long as we can. Uh, prestige. We want these projects to have a, a big life and feel, you know, creatively fulfilling and, and be part of the zeitgeist. And then partners, because the most important thing really is, you know, is who you're who you doing it with. at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. for us, I think reading this project specifically, something about it that just spoke to us was that we have never read anything like it. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> there is literally like when there's no comps. There's no comps. It's like, like we know okay, it's something well. special because we're like, there are so many movies being made yeah. in the world. There's so much television and so much content yeah. that for us, it's about finding something that feels unique mm -hmm. and not for the sake of being unique, but actually has a voice and a story and something to Completely. say. But also you're just like, I've never seen that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this. So when you see the movie, it'll all make sense. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, I know what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Exactly. I have a question. I, I mean, with regard to how do you feel if your film is telling your story around the world, how do you feel that telling your own personal story here on a podcast around the world? <laughs> I mean, wow. that's something that you, you know, you, you try and get used to, I think. <laughs> I, I, you know, we hope that it's something that, you know, resonates with other, you know, young female filmmakers. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, ultimately, Pinky Promise is really, our goal is just to be a lighthouse for, you know, other filmmakers that haven't always gotten the spotlight. So sometimes that means taking the mic and, and, and talking about how you got there. But it really is yeah. in service of, of other people's stories, for sure. Yeah, my goal is to get out other voices and other stories out there yeah. as much as I can. So if I'm here advocating for any of them, then that's what I'm here to do and happy to do it. Yeah. You know, that, that is so beautiful, especially after all these crazy things that happened in the world. We don't have to get into the 2020 time period. Mm -hmm. But you guys came out of that with basically a beacon, a lighthouse of hope for yeah. female filmmakers, for filmmakers around the world. That has to make you feel so good because you're transcending the media. Yeah. You're actually going out there and changing lives with what you two are doing. It's so noble, really. It's, it's really impressive. Oh, what do you? What happened in 2020? Is there something uh, exactly? Something, it's yeah. like you know, scene, know scene missing. It's just gone. No one knows anything. It's, it's, it's all a blur yes. at this point. 
But that brings you here to 2024 South by Southwest. Yes. The reception was fantastic. Where do you see your film going next? Because there's probably so many great avenues. Have you been talking to distributors yet? Are you going more festivals? I'm kind of interested in the path. If you can tell us what's next for your film. Yeah, I mean, the, you, what you want to do is you want to build excitement. You want to build buzz. You want the room to be electric, which we are lucky with all of those things happening simultaneously. So um, tomorrow is Monday, and offices are open, and <laughs> we're going to start That's having right. those big conversations. And I think our goal is to get as many eyeballs on the movie as possible, yeah. to get as many people to see it, hopefully in their home. Um, and, you know, I mean, theaters would be nice, too but I think home right now, especially for this movie, is really where it's going to land. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah that's that's what we're hoping for, that yeah. the next steps. That's fantastic. Now, you have an amazing group around you. You talked about your partners, the people you're working with. The rest of the talent, the cast, the crew, how did they feel being here watching this film on the big screen? Because it's always an experience. And for you guys to spearhead something and see their dreams come alive, that must yeah. have felt great. Oh, I mean, that's like, I mean, that really is one of like the most special, you know, parts of the whole process. I mean, and we we got we're so lucky with the people that we worked with. I mean, I it's, it's going to sound crazy, but I highly recommend making a movie in Italy with all of your closest friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> it turns out that that's like really fun. I know it's kind of like unexpected, but <laughs> yeah. but so I mean, I think moments like this are when you really get to kind of sit back and appreciate it. We've had some distance from like you know the the work, the mud, you know, sure. the, the blood, nights. the nights, yeah. you know, not sleeping for for yes. months. Um, and you can really look at, you know, this finished product, what you made. I mean, I think that's why, I mean, one of the reasons why, you know, we all love movies is because there's, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people behind the scenes that are all putting everything into this project that's greater than the sum of its parts. And so when you get to celebrate that with, you know, amazing cast, amazing yeah. crew that all were part of it, and also are like the funniest, loveliest, hardest working people. I mean, it's just a big, it's ultimately, it's just yeah. a big party. Like it's <laughs> We have a very <laughs> beloved cast. We have yeah. very, they're kind. Nick Kroll is a, at the top of his game. Yeah. So yeah. funny. And also such a genuinely, like, wonderful wonderful human being. Andrew, Andrew Rannells is such a star. Is and like has a heart of absolute gold. I mean yes. like we like these are these are like like are precious people. pearl human beings that yes. um, so it's 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 a joy it's a dream We're, we we pinch ourselves like we have the yes. coolest job in the world I mean we have yeah. your extended world. family really? yes yes well yes. and that's the goal too with every movie it's not Jesse says this all the time and I love this is like it's not about wait what is it it's not making a movie oh it's, it's not about yeah. making uh, not just making beautiful movies but about making movies beautifully like the, oh, the process yes. is something that's like that is like the absolute core to Pinky Promise because like you, life is too short you only we yes. only have some you, our, our time on this earth is not a given and we are have the coolest job in the world and so while we're doing it like that's just stay grounded in the fact that we get to you know tell these amazing and we're stories. very privileged with and that very yeah. privileged with that and, le and let's like let's have fun when we're doing it you know yeah. come on like with, with great people and build um, people up like yeah. bring, bring people up it's with supposed you. to be fun yeah. it's yeah. supposed to be fun yeah. <laughs> that's the point. You know, i was gonna say it's so inspiring that you live that way because it's such a difficult business and people actually they come into it sometime with the wrong opinion yeah. that you have to undercut people or do things the wrong way i'm glad you two are positive role models for Aww. everybody out there because young aspiring filmmakers have to realize collaboration is much better mm -hmm. than trying to undercut or find your way into this now did you two always honestly always think that way now for the young watchers that are breaking into our field it's always difficult maybe i have to do something to get ahead what are your p opinions that actually made you start opening up and say you know what i want everybody to succeed was it always that way for both of you i think so i yeah. honestly think it's why we connected yeah. i think it's like why we met and wh why we fell in love um, <laughs> <laughs> she's my work wife yes. um i i think that there's something to be said for the people who i've i've been around a minute now and i feel like the people who i've seen who think of it as a competition who yeah. think of it as like they have to get ahead they're just looking at it from the wrong side of it and i really do think that the more you back away and think like how many people can I bring up with me? How many friends can I have at the top? How many people can I be with making the stuff that I want to say? Mm -hmm. Like, that is the only way it's even enjoyable at the end because yeah. you can, we have years now, right? Like, we can see the people at the top and a lot of them are not happy. Yeah. And I yeah. think there's something to be said for like, okay, well then how do I get there but make it different and make it productive and cool and I don't know, all of those things. So. Let me ask you a question. How did these two stars align? How did you meet each other? We oh. met on set. We literally oh. met <laughs> Jesse's first movie for Pinky Promise was I before. I saw her for across room and I said her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was producing a movie called honk for Jesus save your soul oh, and I was movie. on this on the ground in Atlanta yeah. and it was Jesse's first endeavor with pinky promise mm -hmm. and she was also joining the producing team and we both um, we're kind of the ones on set together and truly like within a few days I was like oh like you're the real deal like yeah. you know not only are you a positive 
and wonderful human being, and that is the first thing I look for, but also you want to make this movie a wonderful experience, and you also want to lift up cool voices and people <laughs> and all of those things and like truly whenever I saw that I think we both were just like yeah. well we just got to keep doing this as long as we can yeah <laughs> absolutely I mean and same thing for Kara I mean there's no better way to find out if you want to work with somebody than watching them you know be in their element and uh, I mean Kara's type of person who you know remembered everyone's birthday on set oh, and wow. like started a gratitude slack channel so people could just give each other shout outs for like you know little things they did during the day and so I just saw her I mean that really sets the tone for oh, an entire yeah. thing and, and and I was like okay this 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 is my type of person, and I spent the rest of the shoot just trying to convince her to come work with me forever. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it was like, not hey, a hard so convince. what are you uh, doing after yeah. this? It was uh, not <laughs> <a hard laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, completely, completely. Yeah. yeah. Well, so now, Pinky Promise, you guys are doing fantastic. Now, we know what's going on with the film. What is going on next for the company? Other films that you have being produced right now, things that are getting developed in the future. I'm excited because obviously this is going to be a company that takes off to the stars. You two oh are great, fantastic individuals. I can't wait to hear what's next for Pinky Promise. Oh well, we God. just need to call you and we need to get like, pumped I know. up. Because you're really like the most like, uh, you like positive people in the world. It's so team. amazing. Um, <laughs> we are, we are, we actually just had a movie announced a week ago so we can finally talk <laughs> about it because it's been a All secret. Right. <laughs> so we are in the middle of production right now. We are producing Scarlett Johansson's directorial debut. Um, that's called Eleanor the Great. It's, it's starring June Squibb and Shuatel Ijapur and Aaron Kelly and Kellyman and yeah. so many wonderful people. But yeah. well, it's just a project that's near and dear to our hearts. It was the, kind of the first project that Pinky Promise really developed in. So it's it's very special to kind of see it after all these years yeah. coming to fruition and in, in such amazing hands with, yeah. you know, with Scarlett. It's yeah. where we feel very privileged to to get to be a part of her big directorial debut, yeah. for sure. But we've, 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 we've filming that. Uh, yeah, we're York. filming in oh, New yeah, York. Yeah, in Manhattan, yeah, yeah. We literally popped off set to come here, yeah. and we're <laughs> going right back tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. we will be there. Yeah, yeah. but we've, we've always got things cooking, so we're, we've got some more projects that are in development and things that I think I'm really excited in the, you know, in the next like year or so. I think people are really going to get a, a taste for kind of what uh, you know, Pinky Promises kind of, you know, yeah. wheelhouse is. Yes. with the projects they've got coming out. So stay yeah. tuned. No, no, I, I, I love that. And for our young listeners or people breaking the business or don't understand, development is such an important yeah. process. And what Pinky Promise did and developed a project. Can you explain a little bit about that process? Because so many people think making a movie is picking up a camera and saying go. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? So development is so important. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Development is years. I mean, Shout out Lucy Keith. Literally Lucy <laughs> Keith, our head of development. She is uh, a godsend and amazing mm -hmm. woman. Um, uh, you know, for us, the way that we internally try to develop projects is what do we want to watch what would we want to see yeah. how do we want to be represented as women as anyone mm -hmm. um, who just wants to enjoy a movie so uh, yeah I mean the the Scarlet movie is kind of a prime example it was a first-time writer um, it was sent to us uh, we read the script we really loved it we met with her we were like you're the real deal um, and then we were just like how do we start building this together and we just started slowly putting the team together um, hired a lot of our friends who were very talented <laughs> and very smart um, and then yeah we got kind of our dream team the first chance that we got and and now we're shooting a movie so it's very exciting. Sony Classic Pictures is going to be releasing it. Oh, that's great. Um, TriStar oh. and Sony are working with us on it. So yeah, it's all it's all very exciting to see. And it, it literally came from a script being sent in an inbox to all of a sudden it's going to be in theaters probably next year. So yeah. what great. an accomplishment for you two! That must be such a, an amazing feeling for your company that now have that prestige level to be changing lives. And again, Scarlett Johansson directorial debut. Yeah. That's a huge deal. Congratulations! Thank to you. Both thank really you. Thank We're you. so excited really for her, yeah. and we believe in her completely. H how yeah. does she feel about all this? Because yeah, exactly. for her, she must be loving this i mean but the subject matter she's tackling is it's real it's, it's, it's raw and she's there doing it It must feel so you know unique for well, her you know i mean think about it like, i mean she's been you know in the industry since what she was like you know a teenager yeah, i yeah. mean she's been on more sets since than like she was all eight of since she was wow. eight yeah. my yeah. god okay okay yeah. yeah so she's been on you know more sets than all of us combined yeah. will ever be and so it's really just exciting to see like you know a woman get to be in the driver's seat who has has so much experience in, like all aspects of the process and so i just think it's like I don't know. It's, it's really inspiring to feel like she, she's walked in like she, you know, just immediately, you know, like in, in control in a really calm and confident way. And we're, yeah. we're, we're very, very proud. And, yeah. and and that is the point of Pinky Promise is, you know, yes, we make sometimes we make a Scarlett Johansson movie and sometimes we make a movie with a director who no one's ever heard of. And it's yeah. their first yeah. movie. The director's here. It's, you know, one of their first movies. And that's the point is totally. it's about giving everyone kind of the, the chance to tell mm -hmm. her story, to say it. It's it doesn't make anyone better or worse than anyone. What it does, though, is we, we just want to give voices to those stories yeah. and to try to get them in as totally. big of a platform as we can so it, it feels like the beauty of as at the end of the day is story it's so important to have great story around you a great team because again especially in the indie world our business is adapting so rapidly 
And what you two are doing is bringing everything at home and making our craft survive. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Again, you just hang out with us all the time. You just boost us up all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here 24-7. <laughs> 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 just give me a call. Absolutely. No, no, I, I love it. I want any words of advice you can give the young filmmakers. You gave that kind of it throughout, but just a real, when they're breaking into the business, out of film school, going to film school, what should be a driving focus in their careers to get started? Okay, Internet, direct the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. It, to be an optimist takes real resilience. There are people that are gonna tell you that you're naive for being an optimist. You're not, you are strong. It takes that like, really like in your bones to uh, believe and hope in the future. So just don't shy away from that. Don't, make it, don't let anyone make you feel silly for being a positive person. Um, ultimately that's gonna be the thing that makes you succeed and is maybe the most special thing about you. So yeah, optimistic people are resilient people. I think for me, it's surround yourself with the people you want to work with. You know, if you're around toxic people, you don't want to work with that forever. You don't want to be around it. Put yeah. yourself in sets that you know the people and that you love or you respect yeah. and you want to work yeah. with. Um, put yourself there and, and just listen and learn and take in the amount of people who have come to work on sets for us who've just reached out saying, I like what you guys are doing and I just want to be around it. I mean, one of them literally works for us now. Like, we yeah. just find those people and you're attracted to, the, to those kind of people and I think it's important to remember you don't have to be in anything that you think is going to get you somewhere because imagine if you're following a ladder, if you're on a ladder and you don't like the bottom rung, you're not going to like the top rung yeah. of the same ladder. Yeah. So find the ladder that you want to be on and follow that. And it, it, it costs nothing to be kind. Also. Yeah. 100%. That's free. Yeah. Yes. Free to be kind. Yeah. I love this whole sense of family. They say you could pick your friends but not your family. Yeah. In this case, your friends, your crew yeah, it is your family, your family now. Oh, my yeah. God. We spend years with these people on set. They leave their lives. They leave their children. Their, they miss birthdays. You know, they, they literally give us all of their time, and, yeah. and we owe so much to them. So yeah. it's important for us to, you know, always repay the favor as well. For our viewers that are definitely going to want to learn more about your company and mm -hmm. each of you individually, where can we learn more? Websites, handles online, Instagram, Facebooks, where do you prefer? Yes, check us out at PinkyPromiseFilms.com and PinkyPromiseFilms on Instagram. Yeah. And just, you know, peep our IMDb and see what we're making and, yeah. and watch it, please. Yes, <laughs> come see our movies. Yeah. Everybody, Pinky Promises, president, co-founder, CEOs, <coughs> Kara, Jesse, you two are fantastic. Thank your you. energy is changing. This is what the world needs. We need more of you two, more Pinky Promise more out there. I this is ask, fantastic. I have to ask a favor. I have to ask a favor. I love the title. Can we do a pinky promise? That we yeah. be, so the first but not the last time we'll be working together. Yes, that's right. These two are fantastic, everybody. Yeah. Make sure to check them out. This is fantastic from the beautiful JW Marriott at South by Southwest 2024. This has been the Live Your Dreams podcast. I'm Joe Gowalis. Chris Victor. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, everybody, so much. We cannot wait to see more of you guys Thank anytime. You. Thank, you Thank you so much for coming on board. This is great. This is amazing. Good. Thank you yes. so much. That was awesome. Aww, you guys are so cool. Thank you.